welcome. Thank you for taking a couple minutes to come and just watch and be encouraged. I, I want to share a, a few thoughts on something that's happening right now in the world and perhaps even a lot in the church is there's a lot of talk going on about this great move of God that's going on in the earth. Right now, there are things that God's doing that is so amazing. People are being healed. People are, are finding salvation. People are finding uh, just peace. They're being restored in their lives. Families are being brought together. And everyone's anticipating, many are anticipating that God's going to do this on a great scale throughout the earth. And as I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking, is there something that you and I can do as we anticipate this move of God? Is there anything that you and I can do to be a part of that? What is there that I can be uh, in myself that could actually be a part of what God's doing? And as I thought about that, I thought of this passage in Matthew 25, a very interesting story. Uh, Jesus tells a parable of really 10 uh, virgins. Five of them were said to be wise. Five were said to be foolish. And what is happening is you have 10 young ladies here. They're waiting for the wedding. They're waiting for the bridegroom. And in the procession of Israel, they, they would wait for the bridegroom to come and they would all have lamps and ready to go for it. If the, if the bridegroom came late at night, they had to have a lamp to be able to get in the procession and to be able to be part of that. And so we have these 10 young ladies with their lamps, with oil in the lamps waiting. Now, the only thing about that is if it's a long time in him coming, uh, they might run out of oil. And so what they need to do is they need to actually not only have oil in their lamp, but they actually have to have extra oil and have the ability to keep that lamp burning for as long as necessary. So I looked at this parable that Jesus taught of these 10 virgins, and I asked myself, what was the difference between the five? And what was the difference between the five foolish ones, the five wise ones and the five foolish ones? And the answer is simple, it was oil. The five wise young ladies, they had enough oil to keep the lamp burning, but not only did they have enough oil to keep it burning, they had maintained enough oil to go the long distance. Now I think about many people in the church who've been waiting for this great move of God. I mean, it's coming, there's no question. And over the years they've been excited and they've waited, but some of them have lost hope. Life came along, they got discouraged, challenges happened they never planned on, and pretty soon the oil starts running down. The oil starts getting less. And here's the thing, they did not have enough oil to go the distance. And so as we look at this today, as we consider this great move of God's going, the difference is oil. What's the oil? It's the Holy Spirit. What's the Holy Spirit? It's the presence of God who comes to us. If you're waiting, if you're preparing, if you're anticipating, God's going to do great work in your life. But I would encourage you today, make sure you never run out of the oil that you need. Make sure you never run out of the presence of God. Stay in that, keep in it, maintain it, sustain it. If you do that, you will be ready. As you anticipate, you will be prepared. And when God comes, as he comes, and he is, trust me, he will, you will be ready and you can be a part of the oil the Holy Spirit. I would encourage you, if you don't know him, invite him in. His name is Jesus. Just welcome him into your life. Let his presence come and fill your heart today, and you will be ready. God bless you. Thank you for taking these few moments.